right. Um, I have no cards. I'm supposed to show those. I only got four of them, so whatever. <clears throat> All right. My name is Connor Murphy, and today I'm going to be talk talking to you about why I think that running should be an important part of your life. Um, just to get into it, um, I'm on the track team here at Whitewater. Uh, that's like my credibility statement, I guess. Um, we run a lot, obviously, and we know a little bit about it. So I feel like this was a good topic for me to pick just because I have a little bit of input on it. <clears throat> Anyways, according to the CDC, um, a study taken in uh, 2020, so this year, uh, heart disease is the leading cause of death in the world um, just of this year. I don't know if that includes like the virus or whatnot. I don't really know, but you know, that was part of it. Whatever. <clears throat> so first thing, uh, running is a good stress reliever. Um, you know, just going out to run can sometimes take your mind off some things. Um, according to Stress Neurobiology Consequences and Management, written by Anil Kumar in 2013, exercise is the most effective way of becoming stress free. And um, you know, I agree with that, obviously. Um, if I didn't like running, I wouldn't be on the track team in college. It's just it's exhausting. Um, but some people say that running is actually the opposite of stress-free, and they actually get really stressed out when they run. Well, that could just be because you haven't run in a while, and it's painful at the start. You know, it's, it hurt. But uh, according to a different article called Exercise and Stress, written by the Mayo Clinic in 2018, physical activities uh, like running uh, can help reduce endorphins, which are like the body's feel-good hormone, and they can make your body feel really good. So next time you are stressed out about a class like um, <clears throat> Calm 110, uh, you know, just like take a break for a minute and go on a run. The next thing I have written down is that running is a good way to keep your heart healthy. So obviously, like I said in the beginning about how heart disease is the number one killer of uh, people in the world right now, um, going for a run can help prevent that. You know, so according to an article card called Cardio Protection Acquired Through Exercise, written by Elizabeth uh, in 2014, regular physical activity assessed over a mean of 2.4 years and a, uh, was associated with a 27% reduction in mortality and a 31% reduction in cardiac mortality, which is basically saying that they took a study of people that run and people that don't, and um, you know the ones that didn't were more likely to die in general. But they were even more likely to die of like I don't know, a heart attack or something else wrong with their heart, like a I don't know what can be wrong with your heart. They just died from it. Um, so you know, if you want a healthy heart, you probably learn this in like first or second grade, you know, doing some cardio exercises like running or you know, I just picked running as an example just because I do it, so there's other cardio exercises like boxing and that makes you tired, you know, anything that gets you like sweating and breathing heavy, that'll uh, get the heart going, you know, literally just playing a sport will, uh, you know, get the heart going. <laughs> uh, number three, what I had was running can help you exceed at other physical activities like sports that you might play. Obviously, um, you got all these different sports. Who knows where you play volleyball, football, basketball. You're running in all of them, really. Um, even golf, man, you gotta be able to swing the stick. You know, that's, that probably gets tiring if you hit it after you know, a certain amount of times. I don't know, I don't play golf. But you know, it's all in there. Having a good endurance 
a healthy heart will make you better at other sports too. Or really just whatever you're doing if you work out. But if you don't do any of that and just like sit on the couch and do nothing, you'll die of heart disease or something else. Anyways, according to an article written by Kevin Loria called Eight Ways to Eight Eight Key Ways Running Can Transform Your Body and Brain. In 2018, uh, he said that running is a great way to help improve cardiovascular health. Obviously, you just went over that. That was the last thing. Um, but it can also burn calories and help build strength. And, you know, all three of those things are pretty important just in general. But uh, if you are doing another sport or taking part in another physical activity, you want all those things because they can definitely help you perform better. Just about anything. So, uh, in conclusion, you know, uh, we got those got those three things. Uh, running can help keep you stress free. It can help prevent heart diseases and death, and uh, it can help you perform well in other physical activities or sports. So, uh, next time you're bored or think about how Bradley just broke your heart or something, just Pack it up and go for a run. You know that's, that's the best you can do. So that's uh, that's all I got. That's all the that's all the info I uh, got for you. So.